Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Man portable air defense missile systems are shoulder launched surface to air missile systems designed for use by individual soldiers or small teams. These portable and lightweight systems are capable of engaging low flying aircraft, including helicopters and fixed wing planes. Common examples include the FIM 92 Stinger in the US and the Mistral in France. Manpads serve as a mobile and effective air defense solution for ground forces, providing enhanced battlefield protection against aerial threats. Today, we want to show you the 8 best manned portable air defense missile systems in the world. GROM The GROM is a manned portable air defense weapon. It is a Polish version of the Soviet IGLA. The Polish GROM uses the same technology as the Soviet IGLA missile that was adopted back in 1981. Despite that, it's still a capable weapon that can engage low-flying aircraft and helicopters. It might not be effective against UAVs as the target must emit infrared radiation. The missile has two 8-pound or 1.27 kilogram high-explosive blast fragmentation warheads and has infrared guidance systems. It locks on to the hot surfaces of the target, such as jet engine or turbine exhaust, and is capable of target movement prediction. The missile has a contact detonation mechanism, and it detonates once it hits its target. It can reach targets at a range of up to 3.4 miles, or 5.5 kilometers, and at an altitude of 2.2 miles, or 3.5 kilometers. Detection range was 4.4 miles, or 7 kilometers. Javelin Javelin is a British man portable surface-to-air missile, formerly used by the British Army and Canadian Army. It could be fired from the shoulder or from a dedicated launcher named the Lightweight Multiple Launcher that carries three rounds and can be vehicle-mounted. Not to be confused with the American FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank missile, these are two different developments. The missile is an updated version of the earlier blowpipe of the 1970s. Blowpipe used a manual guidance system, which proved hard to use effectively in combat during the Falklands War, where only two destroyed aircraft could be definitively attributed to the system. Javelin replaced the manual guidance system with a semi-automatic command to line of sight system that only required the operator to keep their gun sight pointed at the target. Further upgrades to the missile added a fully automatic guidance system to produce the Javelin S-15. The maximum firing range of the missile is 2.2 miles or 3.5 kilometers, and the maximum altitude is 6,560 feet or 2,000 meters. Sungur The Sungur is a Turkish indigenously made self-propelled, low-level, short-range surface-to-air missile system armed with PORSAV missiles. The Sungur is effective against UAVs, jets, and helicopters. After the platforms, the version of the portable air defense missile system Sungur, launched from the shoulder by a single soldier, was also delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces. The Sungur weapon system stands out with its imaging infrared seeker head, which is resistant to deception countermeasures. With a longer range than its counterparts and the possibility to lock on to enemy elements from a greater distance than the eye can see. The weapon system is equipped with a high explosive semi armor piercing warhead. A programmable impact fuse is also fitted to initiate the detonation mechanism of the warhead. Having the friend foe identification system that allows updating, Sungur also offers various advantages to the user with its ability to lock on to the target before firing and fire forget. Pyro Run The Pyro Run is a Polish made portable air defense missile system. It is an improved version of the Grom with improved seeker and a new rocket motor. Initially, this modernized version was known as the Grom M, though eventually the name of this weapon was changed to Pyro Run. The Pyro Run outperforms the Gron. This missile can destroy targets at a range of up to 3.7 miles or 6 kilometers and at an altitude of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. Detection range is 5 miles or 8 kilometers, more than that of the Grom. The warhead of the Pyro Run is heavier than that of the Grom. It weighs 4 pounds or 1.82 kilograms. The missile has a proximity fuse and can destroy the target even if it misses it. 
there is a day-night optical sight mounted on the launcher tube. The pile-run missiles are used by a couple of Polish air defense systems. These include the Pilica anti-aircraft gun and missile system and the Poppard air defense missile system. Star Streak The Star Streak is a British short-range surface-to-air missile. It can be used by manned portable air defense system or used in heavier systems. It is manufactured by Thales Air Defense in Belfast, Northern Ireland and is known as Star Streak HVM or High Velocity Missile. After launch, the missile accelerates to more than 3,000 miles per hour or 4,800 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest short-range surface-to-air missile in existence. It then launches three laser beam riding submunitions, increasing the likelihood of a successful hit on the target. Star Streak has been in service with the British Army since 1997. In 2012, Thales relaunched the system as Force Shield. The three submunitions fly in a formation about 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters in radius and have enough kinetic energy to maneuver to meet the target evading at 9 Gs at 23,000 feet or 7,000 meters of altitude. On impact with the target, a delayed action fuse is triggered, allowing the projectile to penetrate the target before the explosive warhead detonates. RBS-70 the RBS-70, Robot System 70, is a man-portable air defense system designed for anti-aircraft warfare in all climate zones and with little to no support from other forces. Originally designed and manufactured by the Swedish defense company of Saab Bofors Dynamics, it uses the RB-70 missile, which is also used in a number of other Swedish missile systems. Unlike most ManPad's weapons, the RBS-70 is too large and heavy to be supported entirely by the user's shoulder and may only be fired from a tripod. The RBS-70 briefly caused major concern in most of the world's air arm. It was billed as a weapon that was impossible to detect or defeat with electronic countermeasures. It had no radar that could be confused with chaff and jammers and no infrared seeker head that could be led astray by flares. The RBS-70 is unusual among SAMs in that it employs a shaped charge warhead instead of a basic high-explosive frag munition. It will not detonate until the deactivation of two independent safety mechanisms, which occurs while the missile is in flight. This 2.5-pound or 1.1-kilogram munition has a hollow charge with a copper charge liner, which is distorted by the blast into a needle-like penetrator that can pierce armor. The maximum range of fire is 5 miles or 8 kilometers. Mistral The Mistral is a short-range air defense weapon missile system. It was designed and manufactured in France by MBDA. It features a lightweight man portable launcher, which can be operated by a single soldier. The Mistral SAM can also be launched from armored vehicles, ships, and helicopters. The Mistral missile is a fire-and-forget type weapon with a high-technology infrared homing seeker, which is fully autonomous after firing. The missile is lightweight and very accurate. Maximum altitude is 9,840 feet or 3,000 meters at a maximum speed of 930 meters per second. The missile has a 6.8-pound high-explosive warhead with high-density tungsten balls for increased damage. It uses a laser proximity detonation mechanism that reduces the chance of premature detonation. The missile also has a gyro-based proportional navigation that rejects flares. FIM-92 Stinger The FIM-92 Stinger is a shoulder-fired, man-boardable air defense system developed by the United States in the late 1970s. It was designed by General Dynamics and manufactured by Raytheon Missile Systems. The system is in service from 1981 till now. The Stinger is designed to engage fast, low-level ground attack aircraft. The Stinger is also highly lethal against helicopters and transport aircraft. The Stinger is an improvement over the first-generation red-eye missiles previously used against aerial targets. Comparing with its predecessor, the Stinger has increased speed and range, improved resistance to countermeasures. It can also identify friendly aerial vehicles. The FIM-92 Stinger missile uses infrared homing. It has an operational range of 5 miles or 8 kilometers. The Stinger can be fired by a single operator, but it usually includes a spotter for faster target identification. 
In the U.S. Army, this team of two men are fitted with six Stinger missiles and use a Humvee 4x4 high-mobility vehicle. The Stinger air defense system was also deployed on various military platforms, such as the Avenger and M6 linebacker. It is also used on helicopters for air-to-air self-defense. Well, that's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the air defense systems you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.